and welcome for the first time if you are new. My name is Laura. I share all kinds of homemaking and motherhood videos here on my channel. And today's is a little bit different. If you've been around for any length of time, you know that I love coffee. I start each day with just a regular Americano, but in the afternoon, occasionally I will have another coffee, usually iced, and sometimes I will add some fun flavors, some sweetness, and it is the perfect little afternoon pick-me-up to get me through the rest of the day, to get me through dinner prep. And today I'm sharing some of the recipes that I've been enjoying recently. They are refreshing, they are perfect for spring and summer, and if you want to know what they are, then just keep on watching. I'm going to walk you through each one. They are all fairly simple and easy to make at home. I I really hope you enjoy. Please give this video a like if you do, and also subscribe if you're new. We have a lot of fun over here. I share lots of videos on recipes, homemaking, motherhood, baking, days in the life, crafting, all sorts of fun things, and I would love for you to join. All right, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with a cold brew recipe with salted caramel cream foam. I think this is my favorite of the ones that I am sharing today. You're going to need some heavy cream, milk, caramel syrup, sea salt, vanilla syrup, and cold brew. You can make your own cold brew or use store-bought. To make the cream foam, you're going to add two tablespoons of heavy cream, two tablespoons of milk, and about a tablespoon of caramel syrup. I like to microwave that for about 15 seconds to melt the syrup a little bit so that it can be stirred and incorporated with the cream and milk. You can let that cool for a bit and then use a handheld frother to froth this mixture until it is thick and creamy. Into your glass, you will want to add your ice and then pour in your cold brew. I am using about eight ounces. You can use more or less depending on your liking. And then to that, you're going to add vanilla syrup. You can add whatever amount you want. I add about a tablespoon. Stir that together and then you're going to pour over your salted caramel cold foam. This is just so delicious. I know you guys are going to love this recipe. It's so refreshing. It is quite sweet, so if you don't want it as sweet, you can always add less or more if you want it to be sweeter. Next up, we have a salted maple latte. Now, this is actually a warm drink, but it is the perfect drink to enjoy on a rainy day. We still get those in the springtime and even in the summer. So if you need a warm drink to cozy up with a book and blanket, then I hope this recipe will be that for you. You're going to need some maple syrup. You'll need fine sea salt, espresso, or strongly brewed coffee, and milk. So you'll start by pouring the maple syrup about a tablespoon into your mug along with about an eighth of a teaspoon of your sea salt and then pour the coffee into that same mug and give it a stir so that it is incorporated. And then it's time to froth your milk. I'm using about four ounces, so you can use more or less. And I'm using the frother on our machine. If you don't have one, you can also do it on the stove top until the warmed milk is nice and frothy. And then immediately pour that over your coffee. The maple and salt is just such a great combination. It is a classic and adds just a hint of flavor and sweetness to this coffee. For this iced white chocolate strawberry mocha, you're going to need white chocolate sauce and strawberry sauce. I make both of those at home, but you can use store-bought as well. You'll need two shots of espresso or strongly brewed coffee, ice and milk, as well as any toppings that you want to add. To your glass, you're going to add one and a half tablespoons of your white chocolate sauce and one tablespoon of strawberry sauce, and then pour your coffee into that glass Give it a good stir. I did this in the wrong order, but you want to make sure that you add your sauce and coffee together before the ice so that you can stir it really easily. 
Once those are mixed, you can add your ice to the glass along with your milk, about three fourths of a cup. Give it a stir and then you can add your toppings such as whipped cream, strawberry, more strawberry sauce. You could even add some pink and red sprinkles if you want a fun little flair. If you want it sweeter, you can add more of the strawberry syrup. I don't like it to be too fruity, but of course you can play around with it and figure out what you like best. This next recipe is an extra fun one. These are cold brew popsicles. You're just going to need cold brew coffee. I am making my own, but you can use store-bought as well and sweetened condensed milk, and then you'll need a popsicle mold. I can link the one that I'm using here. I really like it. So what you're going to do is first make your cold brew. So I'm using about half a cup to three quarters of a cup of ground coffee, and then four cups of water. I'm letting that brew. And then once it is brewed, I will add half a cup of sweetened condensed milk and give that a really good stir. Then I'll put this in the fridge for a few hours to chill. Once I'm ready to make my popsicles, I'll just pour it into the molds, add the sticks and freeze until solid. This took about 12 hours, so you can just let them freeze overnight. These are just the perfect treat and pick me up to enjoy in the spring and summer, especially on warm days. And I know you guys are gonna love it. Next up is an iced tiramisu latte. You will need espresso or strong coffee, milk, chocolate sauce, amaretto syrup, and other toppings such as whipped cream, cocoa powder, ladyfinger cookies. And to make the latte, you're going to combine your coffee with one tablespoon of chocolate sauce and one teaspoon of amaretto syrup. I did make my chocolate sauce from scratch, but you could also use store-bought. And then once that is mixed in, you'll add your ice and milk and then just add your toppings. It's really simple. You can add whipped cream, some cocoa powder, like the traditional tiramisu dessert. And a fun fact is that tiramisu actually means pick me up in Italian, which is just named perfectly, I think. And this coffee is sure to be a wonderful pick me up for you. You can add some ladyfinger cookies. I don't actually care for ladyfinger, so I usually actually use shortbread biscuits when I make tiramisu. So that's what I'm using here, and it is just so delicious. enjoyed this video and got some coffee inspiration let me know if you try any of the recipes and how you like them thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you in my next one bye